Hey guys, this is Century Productions, and I'm back, better than ever. So today we're taking a look at the Marvel Universe, Dark Avengers' greatest comic packs, Dark Wolverine and Dark Spider-Man. But who are they shit, and we both know that's Venom and that's Dakin, under the names Wolverine and Spider-Man, the fool, the citizens of the United States. Well, they don't fool me so easily. Let's take a look at this box. Now, when this came out, I saw it at my store. I immediately knew I had to grab it. I know I've ranted and raved about how Marvel Legends are so far superior than Marvel Universe, which they still are, but since the Marvel Legends aren't really uh, coming out and they're not really doing anything for me right now, uh, which eventually they will, hopefully when they come out in 2012, but these 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 guys are, are doing quite well, and uh, I know they're going to release the rest of the Dark Avengers, and that's going to be sick. So as you see, it comes with Dark Avengers number one, and if you haven't read the Dark Avengers series, you really do need to. Dark Avengers issue number one. And we got this some nice box art of Venom and Dakin. You can see the figures in the... Their shell, very nice. That Venom looks spectacular. And then we go on the back here. And the other figures in the series, we got the Phoenix and the Cyclops. Some black and blue on them. And then we got more pictures of the figures, Dakin. And then uh, we got the issue of it. Very cool. If you want to read that, pause. But yeah, let's open this thing up and check these guys out. Alright, so here we got the Venom, which is the one I will be reviewing today, and tomorrow will be the Dakin. Now, I gotta say, just, just from looking at this dude in the package, he looked spectacular. When I open him up, he's even cooler. This figure is, is really, the whole pack is just worth him. The paint application on this guy is, is nothing. I've, I've never seen a paint application like this on one of these smaller figures. This is probably the best paint application I've ever seen on a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Uh, Hasbro just nailed it right on the head. Very, very nice. And you know what? Even though it does have an open palm and a closed fist, I actually really like that. Uh, I, I really think the open palm's pretty menacing, and it's like he's, you know, because we all know this is Venom. This guy's just Spider Man. What's scarier than that? So uh, same same type of articulation I've seen I've seen this this articulation on figures before. The thing that really shines on this thing is the 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 purple uh, throughout the black, and it's just a really cool figure. So really quick, um, just standing him up. So you can see Venom's about the same same height as uh, Norman here. A little bit taller. Very cool though. So uh, for articulation, head does move side to side. It's on a ball joint. You can pop it off. I'm assuming yes. You can pop it off. Go side to side, up and down. It's on a swivel. Ball joint at the arm goes front and back. Turns 360 at the bicep and also goes up and down. One joint at the elbow. I think they're in the stage where they're, I'm, I'm guessing they're probably thinking whether or not they can do double jointed elbows. These are pretty small figures, so I would imagine double jointed elbows, they may run into some problems with those. But yeah, they do have single jointed elbows, and there is articulation at the wrist, but no finger articulation. Finger articulation on a three and three quarter inch figure, I could care less about, because um, it, it, you know, it's not really going to make any difference on a figure this small. Yeah, that does move. I mean, uh, same type of deal on the other side, except we have a closed fist, and that moves and got some paint chipping off on me a little bit. That's cool. It does turn 360 degrees right there as well. We got the, the diaphragm joint, or the chest joint, as I like to call it. It's on a swivel, so it does go side to side, front and back, and can just kind of rotate. A little bit. They still haven't discovered the um, the waist articulation, and you know what's funny? There's even like a little set line right there that would have went perfect for the waist articulation. But I'm guessing what they think is that this this joint uh, is is good enough. They don't really need to throw in a waist joint. But try it out. See how I'm, well. I can't really say that. They probably have tried it out a million different times while making the figure, but. Just uh, put it on a figure and see how we like it. Get the fans' reactions to that. Just a crappy figure. Make uh, another Spider-Man with it. 
All right. I expect it Tuesday. Uh, so no upward thigh joint. We have we do have a this is one piece to the to the lower to the higher knee. They don't have the um, upward thigh joint though, but they do have the like the the crotch joint that's just go front back side to side. And it goes straight down into the double knee joint, which is essential for any figure that has legs. Uh, that's just it's just me. And then they got their their patented foot joint, which is just like one piece, but pretty much this joint does everything. It goes front and back, turns 360 degrees has like a tiny pivot. It's just pretty basic. Oh, but the, the real thing to talk about on this figure is this this paint application. So it's solid black. Then um, we got uh, these, uh, what's well, kind of a shiny shiny black with some glitter and stuff in it. Then we got his uh, white design on the front of it. Spider-Man's white design. Then we got the kind of mix between the Venom and Spider-Man eyes, which make the figure look completely menacing. And then throughout the entire figure we have this purple it's really dark, shiny purple, and it's everywhere. You can just kind of see it, especially on the top of the ball joints, top of the head, inner thighs, right there on the shin. It really makes this figure stick out, and it and it definitely makes you, because you know we know Venom it, it, in Dark Avengers is way more ripped than. Uh, Spider-Man ever was so I guess in in that the the U.S. citizens in that book are are legally retarded. But anyways, this is a pretty sweet figure, and I definitely recommend you check them out and stay tuned because I'm going to be reviewing the Dakin next.